Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hold the resolve if you're coming across a wow that DLL has stopped working error on your Windows computer. So, if you're coming across this problem, more than likely the Windows Explorer is going to be having a problem. Windows Explorer has stopped working. So, this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start by opening up the start menu. Just go ahead and left click on the start button one time. Type in run, so R-U-N. Best match, should come back or run. Go ahead and select that. Now you want to type in a percent sign, temp, T-E-M-P, then another percent sign. So again, percent sign, temp, percent sign. Select OK. Now there should be some temp files in here. Go ahead and just left click inside any of the files in here. So just click on one file. Tap Control A on your keyboard and then select Delete or right click and delete whatever you prefer. Once you've cleared out your temp files, close out of here and hopefully that should have been able to resolve the problem. Otherwise, if you're still experiencing a problem, you can go ahead and open up the start menu. Type in CMD. Best match should go back with command prompt. You want to go ahead and right click on that and then select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to go ahead and select yes. And now into this elevated command line window, you want to go run the SFC command. So the SFC command is basically going to be a system file checker tool. And it's a built-in utility within Windows that allows users to scan and repair corrupted Windows system files. So it should be pretty straightforward. And you want to go ahead and just type in SFC space forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. So again, exactly as it appears on my screen. I'll have it up on the screen in the video as well so you guys can more clearly see it. And you want to hit enter on your keyboard. We'll take some time to run here so you should restart your computer once it's done. And you can see it says the system repair pending which requires reboot to complete. Restart Windows and run it again. So I previously had run this utility but if you're running this for the first time in this current Windows computer session you should not come across this. So just run the command. If you have to restart your computer, restart it and then run the command again. And hopefully that should be able to resolve your problem as well. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.